sorry, that I ask uh, to Henry. When uh, you don't r roll up the big uh, rushing totals, even against a team that's obviously stacked against the run, does that, does that irritate offensive linemen and running backs? No, I mean, not really. I mean, they went, they came into the game, you know, with one mindset that would stop the run. And that was fine. I mean, they're going to load the box and blitz almost every time. I mean, we'll throw the ball. And I mean, that, as a team, that's, that's, that's the position you want to be in, is to have options like that. So uh, we're blessed to be able to have that option. Was it a good thing to see Wilton air it out and uh, be able to make those long throws? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, Coach Harbaugh was actually talking about it the other day about how he hasn't had a quarterback be able to complete the deep post route in like, I don't know, five or six years or something on a consistent basis. And, you know, Wilt being able to complete those big passes this early on is a good sign for all of us. So we're, we're really excited for him. Can you recall a game where somebody decided to just load up on you all four quarters like that? Uh, or it never, it didn't seem to go away. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I have to think about it. Um, Does that feel unique at all? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was you know from the very first play, we, we kind of knew what they were, what they were doing, especially just because of the way we ran the ball the first week. We knew, uh, we, you know, you know when we do that well against a team and run the ball that well, a team that come in and say we want to stop the run. I mean, that's that's just the way it is, uh, and that's and that's what they try to do. So we just threw the ball through the pass, so it was fine. Do you like that? Even though it's like maybe the third quarter, the scores out of reach, but you guys are still in there as a first unit. They're still yep. load the box. Did you like the challenge of being able to go five against eight, five against nine sometimes? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I think as an offensive line, it's nice to get those opportunities. Just you know, even if we don't aren't, even if we aren't that successful in the run, just getting the practice at that, get, getting, getting the practice to see that many guys in the box because eventually, you know, eventually down a season, down a line, we might have to, have to play a team that does it again to us in a, a dire situation and we have to run the ball, so we got, we got to be prepared, so, you know. How old were you in 1994? 94, I was one years old. Is it weird yeah. that a, a team is going to wear throwback jerseys to when you were one? Huh? Is it weird that a team is going to wear throwback jerseys to when you were one? It is kind of weird. It is kind of weird, but uh, it makes you feel old and very wise. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the depth chart that Colorado released this morning? Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing, uh, especially Eric Cartman, a left tackle. <laughs> I saw him, Stewie Griffin. So, Navino uh, Corleone? Yeah, yeah, him too, Elmer Fudd, you know, the, the, the best guys out there. We'll see how they do. Who, who do you think is the most dangerous player that's on there? You know, I don't know. Stewie's an no, evil genius, so we will see what he has picked up his sleeves. You told us before the season when we saw you that you, there was a lot more cohesion and could see the difference that you've you know, kind of shown that in the first couple of games. Do you feel that, especially you know, with you and Mason and the two guys around you and Eric, you've really found something there? Yeah, you know, I was just talking to the radio about it. Um, but uh, you know, it's nice having, it's nice being able to play next to guys that you feel super comfortable with. You know, off the field, um, I'm really close with Eric. He's one of my best friends. Same thing with Mason. So it's a really cool thing that we can just play the game we love together with each other uh, and you know play the way we're playing especially so it's just been really it's been really fun so far and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season it's you guys awesome. kind of dominated early last season too yeah you know I mean what's different about this that you're gonna be able to sustain it more than? um I don't know that's, that's a tricky question uh I guess we just gotta keep preparing the way we have been I mean you know it's it's paid off so far and uh, I mean the results are you've seen them so we just gotta keep producing what elements of this offense might have exceeded what you would have expected so far? Uh, I think, you know, line-wise, I knew, I knew how well we were going to do. Um, you know, I kind of had questions going into about the skill guys. Uh, but those guys, you know, not, not talent level, but just, you know, we, had, we have so many shifts, we have so many motions, we have so many different uh, formations that those guys have to memorize and learn and be able to shift and all that kind of stuff. And they've done a really well, nice job of uh, memorizing everything and being able to execute it at a high level and just be cohesive about it. And uh, those guys have been a big reason about why we've been so successful so far this season. What have you thought about how, how Mason's been at center? Obviously, he's replacing a huge yeah. cog there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Mason's doing about his best job as you can possibly imagine. I mean, Mason has been killing it. Um, you know, mentally, he's all there. And uh, we've been working really well together. And I mean, Mason has a really high ceiling at center, I think. So. I think I want to Khalid's touchdown runs. He had a little uh, like strong shove off of one of those yeah. UCF guys. I mean, what, is he really that fire? I mean, what is he? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you, you can thank me first of all. I was the one who jacked him up, so you can do it. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that play really worked for us on Saturday. And uh, but yeah, that that fire is something that you know I, I love about Mason, and, and everybody does. How'd you jack him up? Uh, well, if you watch the film, I came out super low and I jacked his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen uh, Colorado's film on de their defense? Yeah, yeah, I've watched. I watched. Um, 
I know State and Colorado State so far. Similar so to UCF's defense and the way they play. Yeah, I mean they're really um, their D line is really you know what what you look for in an NFL three four type scheme. Uh, they got a big nose nose tackle. Um, their two ends are about six three three hundred pounds. What you look for outside linebackers one six five two thirty. Other ones like six two two twenty five. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're the caliber of players. Um, I think it's higher than last week, and I think it's going to provide a good test. You guys still don't have five. I mean, it seems like Ben and Ben have been rotating. Is that something that you still have to kind of? You, you need to find someone who's the starter there, or is that? Not um, I don't know. I mean, that's that's kind of up to Coach Trev. I think. I mean, we're still rotating guys. Uh, you know, they're both doing really well, good things. So we're going to see how it kind of develops. You know, it's still super early in the season. You know, Big Ten play is far, pretty far off. So we will see. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. There's some panic, I guess, in the fan base just because you guys didn't run the ball as well as maybe expected. They got to relax. Yeah. They got to relax. We'll talk about we're, being, we're fine. Yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that. I mean, they were bringing guys into the box. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's kind of impossible, right? Yeah, yeah that's that's something that, you know, as a uh, as most fans don't understand, you know, they don't really understand the game of football uh, to the level that people who play it do. So, you know, when they, when, they, when they stack the box like that and they're stopped the run game, I mean, you don't get mad as an alignment. It's just you, you, you pass the ball because that's just scheme-wise, that's the only option you have. Uh, so that's what we did, and they can relax. Everything, everything's fine. There were times when.